Good morning, good evening, and good night, whatever time of the day you are watching. I hope it is a good one. Today we have a very special video for you guys, and and I have 65,000 plus of my friends who can vouch for me because we are at the New Audience Superdome, guys. Finally, guys, finally we are at the New Audience Saints. Regular season, home opener. We had an unfriendly and unexpected neighbor called Hurricane Ida that came and ruined our chance to see us put Aaron Rodgers on his butt. But today we get to see our defense put Daniel Jones and the New York Giants on their butts. Guys, I am so excited. If you've seen my Jacksonville Jaguars preseason vlog, you will see where I kind of gave a tour of the Superdome and all the ins and outs of the Superdome. Today I'm going to show you guys basically how a game day experience is, how a real game day experience with 65,000 plus who that's drunk and wild and happy and laughing. Hopefully we better beat the Giants. And showing you guys just what it is, the best home field advantage in the NFL. So I can't wait to show you guys. Let's go enjoy the New Audience Saints versus the New York Giants at my favorite home away from home. And as you can see guys, face coverings are required inside and you must have proof that you have been vaccinated or at least a negative test within the past 72 hours. The lines are not too bad to check your vaccine passport or your negative test. <laughs>
she beautiful, folks? No hurricane, no fire, not anything can stop us from our destiny. We're going to bring everything halfway in the door, baby. So let's get loud and have a good time. So we got a fellow YouTuber just like me. I want to show him some love. Make sure you guys go subscribe to my man. Who that? Who that, baby? Yes, sir. I like your too, man. Who y'all spent? Two years, I forgot how freaking hot it is in this damn city. It's October. We get like a mini fall for like two days in New Orleans, and then it's back to being summertime again until like November. But I wouldn't miss this for the world. I think that's supposed to be Drew, even though they got him blacked out, but his spirit lives on. And you guys can see the Smoothie King Center where Zion, Brandon Ingram, and those New Orleans Pelicans are going to shock the world this year. Trust me. And of course, the famous Steve Gleason, Green Bird Statue. So even though we are surrounded by a sea of black and gold, we do have a few, few die hard New York Giants. Look at my man, got the blue hair and everything. I love it. I absolutely love it, my man. Good luck today, but not too much luck, my man. So it is about 10.45 a.m. New Orleans time, and just word to the wise, if you want to avoid the long lines and the bum rush of rush hour before game day, come early, and you can walk right on in. Thank you. And we have entered Caesar's Superdome. This is pretty cool. Shout out to Asha.
But today we get to see our defense put Daniel Jones and the New York Giants on their butts. Well, that didn't happen. What an idiot. All right, guys, so the Saints lose to the Giants 27-21. Uh, I'm a bit surprised at how bad the defense looked today. That's what I get for saying that we're elite. So I say they got to prove it to me more consistently before I throw that word around loosely. Um, I say that at worst they were great, but they weren't even great today. They were bad. They were bad. The offense is what the offense is. Y'all know how I feel about the offense, but the defense, whoo, and it wasn't Payne's best game. Sean Payne's best game as a play caller. 
very surprised um, just because one week we look so great and then the next week we look so bad. But I guess it's lining up for what I predicted, which was a eight, nine win season. So, I mean, yeah, if I'm gonna predict eight or nine wins or, you know, even seven wins, if, you know, we really are bad, then this is the type of games you're gonna get. You're gonna get games where even though you're playing the 0-3 team, you don't look as great as you probably could look uh, because we're just not a great team. We're not, we're, um, we're in the middle, I guess. Um, Definitely was a step back today, and that was unfortunate, especially because this was our first game in over 600 days with a packed Superdome, and this is what we were rewarded with. Everything until the fourth quarter was great, though. We had a lot of fun. The dome was pop popping, and then um, things just went downhill, and um, yeah, we gave the New York Giants their first win of the season. So, very unfortunate, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed the vlog and all the great things that is a part of the Saints game day experience. Until then, we go for our next home game against Tampa Bay. Woo, I'm so excited to see all the Tampa Bay fans. If you're new to the channel, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do vlogs for Saints games as much as I can. I also do Saints skits and things like that. I try to bring smiles to Saints fans' faces, and we definitely need it after today's game. So please hit that like and subscribe button. Or not, I'm just a stunned, surprised Saints fan with the dick look on his face right now, but I am not the law. Hope you guys enjoyed that video for always and forever. Who that? Giants. Stadium for sad fans. Sadly, we're kind of used to it. Usually in January, but I guess the Saints wanted to give us a head start today. Hit the subscribe button in three seconds to make this Bucks fan sad. Three, two, one.